Okay, so this is where I get into the spoilers. So this is not for... This is for people who have already watched it. Or who really don't care about um, spoilers. I think the biggest thing um, as far as... You know, ap apart from the humor and lack of originality, why was it that easy for the, um, you know, the, the hired killer? His, uh, apparently, Sarah Jessica Parker got a close enough look at him to be able to recognize him near the end of the movie, and in spite of this fact, the FBI did not seem to get, like, um, you know, a sketch artist, sketch artist, get a, you know, a depiction of him, and send that to the workplaces of the two, I mean, and, and why, why was he that direct anyway, the, the hired killer, wasn't he supposed to be, like, good at what he does, didn't he think that someone might be, you know, expecting, I mean, that's like, that's a million kinds of stupid, you don't, yeah, that, why would he go straight there, it's not, um, anyway, one thing I did wonder, would they really keep reusing the same, same place and the same people, I mean, would, wouldn't someone sooner or later notice a pattern, notice that I don't know, that just didn't seem right to me, that, um, yeah, I mean, it, it was pretty obvious that that was a setup for something, and it was, but would they really do that? Would the FBI actually keep using the same two people and the same house as a safe house again and again? Also, why would they, um, you know, keep, at, at the end he got, like, his job back because he was going to be retired, why? Some someone else could uh, find the safe house if someone was you know they didn't even mention getting the guy who hired the hired killer that was that was just left you know loose end I don't that didn't seem resolved I guess that's it a um, little disappointed that at no point was Hugh Grant wearing like a cap or a t-shirt that you know with WRP across it but oh well. See you next time.